Alright, welcome back. We're continuing our run. I'm afraid I have lost my voice. Uh, I am ill at the moment, and I was holding off on doing this until my voice would get better, but it doesn't seem like it's going to happen anytime soon, and I can't really play this game at all until I finish this video, <laughs> so uh, we're going to do it. Uh, I may need to move the mic away to cough at times, um, uh, and in general there's going to be other issues. <laughs> I've got to drink tea while doing this, <laughs> um, and sometimes you probably just can't hear what I'm saying. But here we go. Uh, we just defeated the Rotten, didn't we? And this is the reward. Uh, either a dueling pistol, plus one to all sides if there's exactly one enemy left. Or triple shuriken. Three damage to the topmost enemy on the first turn. Um, I think... So, think about applicability. Both of these apply every fight, right? There'll always be a time when there's one enemy left. Um, this goes on on a certain character, right? And only they would get the plus one. Whereas this... Just anyone can carry it, and it, it benefits everyone, really. Um, I am inclined to go with the shuriken, because, um, as I've been saying, the difficulty curve of these fights is always that it starts as hard as it's ever going to get, and gets easier as you whittle them down. So, the dueling pistol helps us when the fight is already the easiest it will be, whereas triple shuriken helps us when the fight is as hard as it will ever be. So, and I like that I can put it on whoever I like, because... You know, uh, in fact, I, I can tell you right now, this Spellblade is who I'd want the plus one on, and I, she doesn't have room. So it's nice that this thing could just go on however. Alright. Oh wow, oh yeah, cool. That's great, because this guy's flying. So we got three free damage on a flying enemy, that's that's a bigger deal than anything else. I'm going to need to remind myself what my guys do. So I just got a very high damage soldier. Um, Either person has some growth stuff and some mana stuff. And the main thing about them is is this spell, is it? No, they, they just seem a bit underpowered, to be honest. Um, yeah, my spell blade has a bunch of cool stuff, especially the poison. Um, really, it's just the poison. Then this person just generates mana, but they provide us with a great spell. Beam spell. In fact, the beam spell will be great this turn, because I have to finish off the whiz. And then this is our quite interesting saviour person, who, they have Valkyrie. Uh, they have this revenge mechanic that actually preemptively attacks people who are attacking them. And that, I think that includes flyers as well, so it would work on Wiz if Wiz was doing anything this turn. Doesn't look like they are. What does that say? I want like a quick way to get to... Okay, just healing. Huh. Oh. I suppose, yeah, <laughs> I was going to ask, like, why are they healing this turn? But I realised this is a game where you roll a dice to <laughs> find out what you're doing. <laughs> they don't actually get a choice. It's nice that they have some dice that are basically useless to them. Actually, no, it's not going to be useless. It's going to help him. Um, all right. <clears throat> the upshot of all of that is I don't have any ranged weapons, so it's got to be a spell to kill this guy. But even two mana would do it. No, no, sorry. This one can't hurt flying people, so it's got to be the beam. Um, so... Uh, that one I'm going to re-roll because it could get mana. Um, that one already does get us mana, but I'd much rather have poison, so I'll re-roll it. That's rubbish. Uh, this is fine, actually. I mean, revenge would be a lot better, so I'll probably re-roll it. And this one, maybe I keep that. Um, what happens on this when the ogre is? I see he gets more powerful, so we kind of want to finish him off all in one turn. Might be good to do exactly two damage to him this turn, um, and eliminate Wiz. So we just made the fight easier for ourselves, um, and then next turn we could possibly get him down. You know, four or more. Uh, all of which is to say, I think I reroll everything. Or maybe no, I keep this, because I don't want to necessarily do a whole lot of damage. And shielding would be good. Okay, mana, great. Uh, and poison. So I'll I'll stab him with a poison thing. I think that'll do two damage now, and then I'm not sure he'll he won't tick up this turn. Yeah, that that's good, because if we did three damage to him now, this very attack will do three damage. Um, and it's a cleave one, so that's a lot of things to deal with. Um, 
if we do two now with two poison, we don't buff his attack this turn, he'll get buffed next turn. Uh, I think that's as good as it gets. Well, let's see. Definitely this one. And that gives us the mana we need to kill Wiz. And then I'll keep that as well because I'll just use that to shield. And then this one I'd like to have revenge if possible. We got it. Perfect. Okay, so let's do the most important thing first, which is to spend... Oh yeah, I'm glad I'm doing this first because I forgot I needed three mana. <laughs> mm. So I don't have enough to shield with that. But I do have two shields. Um, I will stab this guy because that's uncontroversial. Uh, now protection. Let's just look at who has the lowest health afterwards. So Druid, and then doesn't matter who else. Um, I will put Druid first. Oh, that buffed them, of course. Oh well, it was still worth it. And I'll protect Evoca over Valkyrie because Valkyrie has their own way of getting health. Okay, so that wasn't quite as strategic as I thought. But look, he's going to die so damn fast. He just dies this turn. Uh, let's keep that and reroll everything else. Uh, keep that and reroll everything else. I mean, we've got it for sure, but I just want to... So that happens, and then that happens. Alright, simple. Who's going to level up? Ooh. Ooh, okay, now. Interesting. Ah, so three poison. Very good. Poison gets, you know, not exponentially better, but disproportionately better as you increase it, because it's, it's that much damage and that much poison. Um, but single use has a big downside. I've already got a two damage poison one. Three damage and cruel. Cruel does double damage if they're less than half health. Uh, I don't really care about that. That is good. That's legit good, because that's... Essentially, so a flyer, because flyers can be targeted by so few things, it's more likely that a flyer is going to be full health. Um, and it does four damage to them. And flyers are generally weak, but hard to target. So that is a legit good thing. Um, this one just protects themselves. And that's it for the assassin. Now, alchemist. I, yeah, my druid is not great. Because um, even the hit everyone ability, it is better than my other hit everyone ability. But... Wait, what? Oh, uh, what's that coming from? This? Okay, yeah, cool. Um, just want to check that wasn't something we'd lose if we replace him. Um, okay, sip of tea. Ha, so the alchemist also has a single use poison thing. And the thing that heals and gives mana, don't care about that. Thing that's double regen, that is very good. And then what's the spell? Cleanse, remove all negative effects from the target, including incoming ones. For four mana? That's very expensive. Oh, it heals 20. Okay. Um, Alright, so that feels like something that's going to be better very late in the campaign when, when 20 heal is a meaningful number. <laughs> like right now, five heal would, would almost always be as good as 20 heal. Um, the spell's not brilliant. Um, does I, I can't do it gives us the hit everyone spell, which heals, so it heals everyone. Um, I'm inclined to go for Alchemist, because, so firstly, we have to pick one of these. Um, and if I go for, oh, hang on a second, hang on a second. So that one gets heal, uh, and then the two damage poison thing comes from an item. And that means if we went for this class, we could put that item on this, on this person. Or, uh, what am I saying? <laughs> uh, if we went for the assassin, we could put the... We could keep the, that two damage poison and put it on here, because I don't care about this cruel one. And then pretty much all their faces are good. That's one way to look at it. The other way to look at it is we could take assassin and move the item to our alchemist, so that our alchemist has that instead of their shield. Um, and then that opens up the potential to like use both poisons on the same enemy in the same fight, which I think would be really cool. I tell you, this is neither here nor there right now, but um, we have no multi-target damage, and I really wish we did. And that spell that hits everyone, uh, 
we have a, a worse version of that we can still cast. Um, but it's one damage, it's just nothing. Uh, by this point in my last campaign, I had like a couple of different ways of hitting everybody or, or hitting three people at once with, with two damage at least. Um, does... hold up. Tell me about shield again. Damages all enemies attacking the target. Okay, so that can hit multiple targets in one move. That's actually really good. I think I've been undervaluing that. So I am tempted by the, this this cool bow. Um, in both cases, both these guys, whichever one I pick, would be a great candidate for the dagger item because it would give, it replace their middle slot, and I think don't think the middle slot is good in either of these cases. This is a good boss killer, I guess. Once they are, you know, let's say a boss has twelve health. Once it's lost six health, this kills it in one shot. It's a six damage attack, so that's pretty good. Um, thing is, these I like these because, firstly, they're probably going to kill the flying enemy in one shot, and if they don't, they still do two damage, so they're going to be able to finish them off. On the other hand, I do have a pretty reliable way of, of hitting flyers with the beam attack, because mana is something I can generate fairly easily. And in fact, if I take the... the what's it called? Alchemist then I actually lose some of my mana generation. Uh, I kind of lose half my mana generation. <laughs> Almost. In either case, I lose some mana generation because my Spellblade can also generate it. But Spellblade, I'm almost never using this because it's quite low value. Um, so, if I care about mana, and I kind of do, it makes more sense to go for the Assassin. Um, I'm really, I do like this 2 regen though, that's so powerful. Like, you put that on somebody, they're going to be fine. <laughs> you can just let them take the hits from then on. Um, and on an alchemist class, using up your poison thing... Uh, oh, well, okay. Using up your poison thing seems more acceptable, because you don't need them to be a reliable damage dealer for the rest of the fight. Uh, but, here, the single-use poison is replacing a one poison. So it's much better, really, because once you've done... The, you'd have to use this three times before it pays for more than that. Um... I think I'm going to go for the Assassin. Just feel it in my gut. Because the this little mana thing is not very useful. Um, the one poison isn't great. Uh, they could still have that bottle. Yeah, in fact, we'd round them out. Alright, we're doing it. I always, when I make those decisions, I always feel like, wow, I'm being so quick and decisive. But I've actually been talking about this for like 15 minutes. <laughs> I think this does go slightly faster when I'm not talking about it out loud. but Because um, I noticed this run is like, an hour and 50 minutes for, for half of it, and my a normal run takes me like maybe an hour and 30 for the whole thing. So talking is slowing it down. Um, so, yeah, I think I want this. I think I prefer that to Cruel, because if we can just pump people for the poison, um, especially like, you know, we're going to try and get this as early as possible. Once it's gone, then we want this. Um, and, yeah, this regen potion, I think it's still, still got this person. Oh wait, what does it do? Well, that's not very good tooltip, is it? Where can I put it so I can actually read it? Um, so it blanks out that thing. That little swirly thing, it's quite good because situational stuff, um, you know, you have a lot of control over when something comes up. Um, who did I put it on? I think maybe the... So one regen on anyone versus ignore all damage on this character. That's pretty tricky. I think I'm going to leave this because um, the one regen, it's, it's always good but I would always be hoping for a different result on this dice. I'd always rather the two poison. So I'll always be re-rolling it, so I'm less likely to use it at all. Whereas this, on a turn where this person's going to take like six damage, then yeah, I want it. Okay. Oh, this sounds like a flying person. 
you know, the first time, move back a step. I see. Okay, so flying and being in the back row are two different things. If you fly, then you are going to move to the back row when you take damage. Uh, it looks like only the the main guy is going to do that. So that sort of doesn't matter too much. What's their dice like? They got a lot of heavy damage stuff. I want to kill the snake. Um, I don't really care about the wisps. Oh, the one reason to kill wisps is you get mana for doing it. So that's nice. Um, I wonder if hey, two different people are targeting Valkyrie. So Valkyrie should take revenge because that just two damage to these guys. Um, I should think about when to apply it though because it will cause this one to back off. Uh, we have this is an interesting situation because this one will do four damage, but only if it's the first thing to hit them. So. We do four damage to this guy with that. Then we use revenge to do another two. We don't end up taking it out. Um, let's just look at damage prevention. So I want to kill Snake anyway. Um, and what are these guys doing? What is that? Ah, heal two and shield two. Okay. Um, so I actually do want uh, to do this hit everyone thing. So let's think about this. Um, if I do four damage with the bow, then two damage by revenge to each of these. This one's on three. This one is on one. Then I just need to do two damage to a snake in addition to hitting everybody, which I can do even just with this mana. Um, I think I might be done. I think I just take all of these. I think that first round was just good enough. So let's make sure this works. They're down to three. Um, now, I don't care that you're on the back row because I'm going to do this on myself. I'm just going to hit the snake and the bird. Then I'm going to use this to hit everybody. Kills that. Um, now, if I kill a wisp I get extra mana and with two more mana I could hit everyone again um, but that wouldn't be enough to kill the snake and I do want to kill the snake I don't want to get poisoned um, so the other thing I could do is uh, if I I could just kill the snake normally and then kill a wisp yeah, it feels weird, but I think that's the best thing to do. There's no way to really use this three damage that makes sense. Because um, if I don't get a wisp with it, I don't get enough mana to hit everybody. And yeah. Kill the snake, then this probably just will be used into a uh, normal damage thing. I will keep that extra mana for next turn. I haven't been coughing yet, which is nice. Earlier I couldn't speak without coughing, like trying to speak caused me to cough, which is real bad for recording a video. <laughs> um, that's probably one of the better results we can get on that dice. I think I would still like to do the, yeah, this this alone lets us do the hit everyone attack. Um, what is this nasty thing? And pain to all sides next turn. This is incoming, so we want to prevent that. Um, that's happening to blue and to... So it's these guys who are doing pink stuff. So we want to kill all of them. Now one of them is at full health, so the bow would be good. That would get him down to one. Oh yeah, get him down to one and then use this to, to hit everyone's spell to finish them off. And so then the next thing we need to do is three damage to this person. None of that helps me with that, so I'm going to reroll. That does. And that is... Yeah, it's one of the better outcomes. On the other hand, there's no bad outcome there. So, I'll reroll both of those. Alright, that's fine. Um, so, the guys with pink attacks. That's my priority. And it doesn't make sense to shoot this one because... Oh, this guy's got two shields as well, so that's more than I bargained for. But, we can do it. Um, 
now is that let me just undo that a sec that's three damage um but i don't need to do three damage what i need to do is get two different people down to one and then i can do this and hit everybody and now what's actually incoming four damage to one person um which i can partly defend if i could get one more mana i could actually shoot this guy but there isn't a way to do that is there it'll just be shield that's fine, we could lose two health. This has gone pretty smoothly. Pretty smoothly, that's what I'm trying to say. Alright, I hate this. I'm impressed with the assassin, like that four damage bow is really good. Um, poison, also good. I mean, it's just three damage, really, isn't it? Um, I think that's high enough damage that we should do it. Uh, I don't know. What's the bad outcome? The bad outcome is the X or the or the dust. Well, actually, no. Every, the middle poison one's also bad. Um, I think I'll reroll the rest. I like mana, but I don't need it that badly. This looks good. This actually seems like we could just do it all with raw damage. So let's see. Um, maybe it makes sense to do this first. Oh, what? Oh, he had shielding. I always miss that. Okay, well, let's just... I'll continue to play this out, see if it works out. Um, I guess, yeah, if we just kill this now, we get two mana. And that could be used on burst, which is two damage on the boat. Cool. All right, there was several better ways of doing that, but <laughs> what I did worked. Cruel to the left two sides. I don't really care about that. Oh, wait. Cruel doubles just whatever. So, it could be doing six poison damage, which would be insane. What about other people? That would just be straight up six damage. That's very, very good. I mean, it's just times two. It doesn't matter what it what is multiplying, right? So, it could be this. Although, that's, sorry, that is, um, that's just a shield, isn't it? It doesn't do revenge. Revenge is what I care about. Wouldn't be good on that. Wouldn't work on that. What a sharp wit. Replace all mana sides with damage sides with triple. <laughs> I'm sorry. Triple? The original value? I'm losing my voice. Th this would be nine damage. These two would be six damage. What are you talking about? Triple? <laughs> that sounds like a mistake. Well, look, mana, it's nice to hit flyers, and it's nice to hit everyone, but triple damage? They would just kill everybody. I think we've got to do that. That's just madness. Because bear in mind, this one makes, like, other things do double damage in a certain particular circumstance, quite a rare one. This one makes them do triple just anyway, just all the time. Uh, that's amazing. Um... Even putting on the Druid would be incredible, because that you lose very little, and they just become an absolute powerhouse. But yeah, Evoker is the... <laughs> just look at this, these numbers don't make sense. I mean, it's tempting, actually, to give this person the poison. What are their items? Well, I just gave them, and then blank sides become heal. God, they had a lot of blank sides, didn't they? That's That's not great. But, I mean, the one heal is so pathetic, it basically is a blank side. Uh, so what I'm looking at is, like, if I did this... Oh! Oh yeah, no, sorry, I completely forgot what that was doing. Uh, I got mixed up with the thing that, that doubled just whatever. Like, Cruel would, would double the poison, but this thing doesn't, so that's fine. Uh, we'll just keep items how they were. That is astonishing. I thought it was just going to be replaced mana with damage. I thought, yeah, maybe. <laughs> okay, well, we don't want that. Um, so we do want to kill the troll first. Troll regen. So you got to want to, you kind of want to race him down. And spiker hurts you when you attack them. So you kind of want to deal with everyone else first, which is a shame because this bow is is real good for the spiker. And it's just great for the spiker because. I, because it's ranged, I wouldn't take any self-damage. 
I think I'll still try for something better. Um, that side is useless, isn't it? I wonder if um, I could get an item that would replace it. I think I'm rerolling everything. Okay, so that's six damage. <laughs> um, the three shield I will take because we've got a lot of incoming damage here. Maybe I should take this one too. The only question is, can you kill this guy once this turn? Six damage gets him down to there, so I need another six. The bow is not going to get us there. That could... But I also need mana. I think I'll keep rolling. I've got three more dice to, to figure out some six damage. That does it, doesn't it? I think it does. This is the kind of nutty turn that <laughs> is why I was so interested in this. Like, once the damage numbers get high enough, it sort of doesn't matter what the enemy's going to do to you. <laughs> um, all right. Well, he's going to hit every single one of us, which is not great. Uh, so let's just look at who has the lowest health afterwards. It's going to be the druid, isn't it? The druid oh, it does have a way of healing, so it might not be the best one to fix, but who cares. That was such a good first turn. Okay, that's an insane amount of damage. Didn't I keep the the whirlwind dust thing? I did. So actually, I kind of want that now. Uh, I mean, <laughs> having said that, let's just do the maths here, because we just got the 9 damage side. 9 damage, that's 5. That takes him down to there. At the end of that, you've got 11 more damage to do. Uh, well, here we've got five, seven, uh, and we'd have one more dice to roll. We could potentially do ten damage at best, uh, which isn't quite enough. It's close though, isn't it? I could almost kill him this turn for full health. <laughs> um, so given that I can't do that, I will keep re-rolling this. Because um, it can't, other than the X, it can't go too far wrong. Uh, and yeah, we're keeping that obviously. We, we're not going to pass up that crazy damage. We don't even. Maybe we keep this too, because that would save them, which gains Valkyrie health and it damages the Spiker, and it doesn't hurt us, which is pretty great. I don't think that heal is, is worth it at this point, is it? Nah, if we had something to cleanse, it would be. Okay, now that's. Now we need to think, because that is pretty good. I think we do this and we just we take a big hit on the assassin because this is so much damage and poison. I think we kill him next turn if we do this. So, um, let's save them. And let's, oh, problem, problem. If they poison them, they're going to die because they're going to take a self damage in the process. Fuck. Fuck. I can't undo back to the roll, can I? Ah, I made a bad choice. I made a bad choice. I needed one more thing to defend. There's nothing like gains me mana, is there? I think this person just has to skip their turn because them actually dying is one of the worst things that could happen in this fight. Let's do everything else first. You know we're not going to be far off killing it, are we? In fact, if... We'll just kill it this turn. And then it won't do its damage. <laughs> Holy shit. My damage output has gone insane. I unlocked something. Killing two trolls. I got the troll's nose, which generate one health each turn. Oh, that's a great item. Holy shit. Alright. So, soldier. My soldier is boring, but this is going to be another pain class, isn't it? It's just not worth it, mate. Six damage. Who wants to do six damage and take six damage? If it was like you deal this much damage but you take two damage or something, then fine. But this is a thing where like the more you increase that number, the less appealing it is to me. So I don't want to just kill myself. You could do stuff like Valkyrie could make them deathless, but they still end up on one health. It's not good. Let 
is equal to the number of damage enemies. I don't like that. Ah, source. Oh, God. We might have a problem. Because this replaces my mana guy. Sorcerer. Okay. So this is cool. It gives you mana and you don't need to choose the dice. So when you roll the dice, you just get the mana right then and there and you can re-roll it and still benefit. This one gives you more re-rolls, which is great. Uh, that's just a shield. What does that do? Ah, poison to three different enemies. That's cool. Um, okay, shit. I suppose we might just have to do the, the pain thing. Because I, I can't lose this. This guy does nine damage. We're not passing that up. <laughs> it's got to be the barbarian. And we just find a way to live with this pain mechanic. Um, it would be a case where Valkyrie's deathless thing you know, is not useless. But it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. How much health is it? It has 12 health. Okay, so that's that changes things a bit. That's a lot of health. No one has 12 health at the moment. That's like three lines. Alright, it's going to be the Barbarian. Um, but let me dig into... So they have the shuriken on them. They, they still should. What does this one do? Oh, you can just drag it around like that. Okay, cool. Uh, blank and regen. That's actually good. I, the deathless thing, you know, I, I wouldn't cast it on myself because, um, or at least casting on myself doesn't save me from pain because I can't do the two things in the same turn. I might do that. Just one regen. It's quite small now that things have scaled so much, but I don't think Deathless is good at all. I would always reroll Deathless. I'd probably always reroll this too, to be honest. <laughs> all right, but it doesn't change the chances of a bomb outcome. All right, let's find out how pain pans out. This is kind of interesting because pain mechanic is uh, best case scenario. The pain mechanic is a is a, is a mechanic that sounds worse than it is because <laughs> there's got to be a reason it's in the game. To me, it sounds terrible. It sounds like you'd never want it. Um, uh, but this level up mechanic where I've got to pick one of the two forces you to try some stuff you might not otherwise. If I could have passed, then I would have passed. Um, so, I think this is going to be great because these archers only have two health, so whoever I want to kill there can just be killed. Druid is going to lose all of his life, so this is Troll King, isn't he? He's still doing five damage to three different people. That's pretty huge. Um, six damage, very hard to say no to. Um, three poison on the Troll King, turn one. That's, that's the best thing you could hope for, really. Uh, let me just check that's true. I mean, shooting me with his bow and arrow would be good, but the archers aren't. They're doing two damage. We can live with that. Uh, I will re-roll that. This mana or shields. The sword doesn't... It's not big damage, so it doesn't help against Troll King that much, and it can't hurt the archers. So I think I would hope for... Hmm. It doesn't make sense to hope for mana, because two mana wouldn't let us do anything to archers. So what am I hoping for? Shield? Yeah, I guess. God, the Drew is useless. I really want to level them up. A mana, mana also turns into shield, so yeah, e either would be fine. All right, which what type is that? Death Wish. So that only does extra damage if I'm on low health. I'm not on low health. Three damage is all right. Um, what are these other sides? No, I want to see this. Bloodlust. Number of damaged enemies. So well, that's none. So, all right. So, uh, other than the pain one, that's that's the best thing we can do. Uh, and then Druid can use the, the two mana to shield somebody. Okay. So, the ones we especially care about protecting are Druid and Evoker, who are red and blue. So, there are archers attaching re attacking red and blue. Um, in both cases, we hit two different attackers with the revenge. So it makes sense to do a druid because you save them. And I get health for that. And that just straight up killed an archer, which is great. Um, this thing is just three damage, isn't it? It doesn't. Yeah, I wish there was a quick way to just find out what that face does. Oh, just clicking it once works. Okay, I, was, I selected it, I guess. Yep, so that it's just three damage and I can't target the flying people, so that's going to be that. That's going to be that. Oh. Let me let me understand this. 
Oh, uh, he has two regen. So when I do three poison to him, the, he does have three poison. Three poison, two regen. And the net effect of that is just to lose one health. So that's great. It's, it's neutralized his big advantage. Um, let's just do this heavy damage. Oh my god, we're so powerful. He's just going to be dead next turn no matter what. Um, and then I use this to defend the evoker, I think. Then we lose a lot of health, no question, but we we killed someone and the Troll King is going to die next. Okay, this looks bad. This looks real bad. Um, but damage from archers this person's irrelevant. They are attacking my Barbarian. Barbarian can easily take it. This archer is attacking Valkyrie, and Valkyrie's going to die by a lot. We would like to be able to kill this person this turn. I think we can also kill the Troll King. I think that alone kills the Troll King. Um, Deathless, I would much rather have Revenge. Much rather. So let's reroll that. And the others are X's, so <laughs> that's easy. Oh god, we've had X's two, twice in a row now. Uh, Deathwish. Thing is, your very high HP barbarian is lovely, except it means the death wish never comes into effect. Uh, I don't really want that. I would like a a bow. Oh shit! This is my last reroll. Please don't give me axes. Oh Christ! Oh Christ! Oh no! Oh no! I think we're gonna lose some people. I can't hit. Arch oh wait, wait, wait! I can hit archers. I've got two different. Uh, Oh, this guy's going to do six damage himself, isn't he? <laughs> okay. Um, doesn't matter which of these we use. Kill the Trolking. After we kill the Trolking, we can kill the Archers. So we don't care about that one, and we can kill this one. And we don't need to save anybody because that all the damage is coming from the guy, really. Uh, so now I would heal probably the Evoker. God, three health is nothing, is it? Druid sucks. All right, this is fine. Uh, yeah, let's just stick with them because I think we can just shoot with the bow. I love that bow, man. Yeah, it's really cool. Ooh. Huh. Ultra Spurs cast self shield too. Man, these are both great. <laughs> I love how good the items get at this age. I wish the I wish someone would give me some kind of multi-target damage. Because look at this next fight. There's what eight enemies, <laughs> and I've only got single damage attacks, single target attacks. Um, let, let me look at these guys, because Byron is 12. It doesn't make sense to put it on him. 8 here, 8 here, 7 there, 8 there. So you might put him on Druid, 6 max HP. It's a boring buff, but it does keep him alive. Or after a spell is cast, self-shield 2. We don't cast spells that often. You know, it's 1 per turn at most. So I think it's going to be this. Or I could give it a random item. Fuck it, let's give it a random item. Rampage and minus one to the left side. This side can be used again if it kills a monster. Ooh. Okay. To the left side. Now that's that's definitely more interesting than either of the choices I had there. So this thing, if it kills it's doing six damage, this would make it do five damage, but if it kills someone you can use it again. That's cool. But it's pain, so there's a limit on how many times I can use it, but it's just how much health I have. I can only use it twice at most, right? It, would, it hurts so much to use that thing. Um, maybe I should have got the health buff on him, but then I wouldn't have got this. And if we put it on, on this guy, so you get rid of that stupid root thing, put it on this guy. That thing still does eight damage, and I can reuse it. That is nuts. That is nuts. It's going to do 8 damage, and if it kills something, which it will, then I can just keep doing it. <laughs> That's so cool. Though. That's a buff that gets, you know, I, I'm going to use the word exponential again, which probably isn't the right word technically, but uh, it gets so much better when the damage is high, because the debuff means less, and the buff means much, much more. It's like both more likely you get to reuse it, and reusing it is more valuable. Maybe maybe the word is like mul multiplicatively better, as opposed to like additively better. Yeah, because we always use like 
linear versus exponential, but that isn't the dichotomy, is it? There's there's linear, and then there's quadratic, then exponential. I mean, quadratic's not the only kind. Obviously, there's um, different orders of exponents. Actually, is quadratic only for squares, or are all exponential? No. Ah. <laughs> I've got to stop saying exponential. Anyway, uh, I'm trying to remember my, my maths, and uh, uh, I know that equations with a square in them are a very particular field, and then if you increase that exponent to like cubed, that's a different thing. Um, and those things are, are still different to exponential. Exponential is where the, the growth depends on the current amount. So I think we put this on the druid probably. Because the druids will, yeah, it's just, it only, it's only relevant when, um, oh, you know what, there's an argument for putting it on the Valkyrie. If nothing else, because in every case, I would never pick it. I would only ever be if my last reroll lands on this. And Valkyrie, if she saves someone with it, she gets health for it. So there's a, there's a small reason to give it to her. All right, this is going to be good. If I, oh my god, if I, if I roll that side... If I get the, the Mega Sword with the Evoker, here's the Evoker, right? They can kill every single enemy. <laughs> every single enemy turn one. Now, I guess now I do have multi target damage, <laughs> in a sense. Um, so let's, let's say that's not going to happen. Um, we still have so much power to just kill things. Like this kills someone. Uh, I think. Hmm. Revenge would be better. The thing about what she has right now is that she could shield this person and gain health for it. Um, if she had revenge, the revenge would hit multiple people. Um, it would hit three different people for two. None of them die, though, so it doesn't stop the damage. And the, the two shielding is not enough to save the assassin, so someone else would have to save them um, and that's not so good so maybe this is the better outcome also this is insurance against any of these coming up nothing because I could just use them I could use this first and then they all become shields I think I've been kind of forgetting about that property okay the pain one is not my favorite um, but I could use it I guess What's the other alternatives? Everything else only does three damage, so it's not... They're not one-shot kills, so that's probably good enough. Um, Barbarian just has a shit ton of health. Two mana. Um, is there any way I get any other mana? Is Druid my only way of getting mana now? So spell... All my... These two spells are just irrelevant at this point. Oh, I was wrong before. I thought I still had another all all target attack other than this one but I don't it's just the beam um, so I mean assassin can save themselves from one of these things anyway oh that's true so in that case I would rather have revenge wouldn't I and then this one that's as good as it gets I think because regardless it's, it's too damage um, the growth aspect I don't know just these things don't Oh, it's not the right one. It's not the right one, damn it. Alright, still, we can do a lot. I want to... I don't want to take any poison damage, so let's kill the spider. Oh, the spider's only got one health. Maybe I'll use my mana to do that. Uh, I don't want you to die. Hmm. Hmm. Valkyrie thing did not pay off, did it at all? Shit. Yeah, shit. They really should have stuck with that shield. Shit. Because now they can't save them. Uh, oh wait, uh, no. I mean, there's a way to engineer them saving it, but it doesn't make sense to do that because it's wasting turns. Uh, it really makes sense to kill a spider with the mana. Then we want to kill some things that are targeting orange. So it just doesn't matter which we use on which, does it? Three isn't going to kill anything. Um, so this is going to hurt a lot. Fucking hell, that really hurt. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, and then it's still the assassin is the most important thing to protect. Um, but after this... Huh, 
What was that? I lost health for that. Oh, these ones are spiky. I didn't know that. Alright, it's still the right choice. Well, actually, no, it's not. Because right, if we're not going to kill everyone, I might as well um, save myself some hassle. And now I want to kill wh whoever is attacking the barbarian, because that's my next lowest health thing. And doing it with the assassin makes a lot of sense, because I won't take self damage. And then this three damage I'll do to a spider. Yeah, this is going to be fine, isn't it? I do wish I had that Slayer sword. I hope I get it one turn. just want to finish the whole fight with one side of one dice. <laughs> there it is! We win. <laughs> Shall I just say done rolling? The only thing is that, that she'll take damage from the imps, but there's only two imps. She's got plenty of health. We're done. So, kill that. <laughs> kill that. Kill that. <laughs> Kill that. Kill that. Man, if there was per party member XP, <laughs> the evoker would be cleaning up right now. <laughs> that is insane. Okay, a chance to upgrade my druid. I like the sound of this. So right off the bat we have a... Oh my god, what is that? Heal 10. The thing is, I mean, for the barbarian maybe, but... Ritual. Heal 1, cleanse, cleave. Okay, so, so basically heal one to three. Wait a minute, what? Uh, it heals three people for one, which is nothing, but does cleanse them, which is good, I suppose. Not mega impressed with that, but then there's no way you were going to replace this. Hmm, I'm going to need to read this ability description again. Oh no, not that. Um, all mana sides. Now, my first blush interpretation of that is it just means a side that that just gives you mana. Like, the, the, the sides that only give you mana, that side is called mana. Um, whereas these are... Oh. Oh. That does just say mana. Um, oh, that one isn't a mana side. Okay. So the thing about the original Artificer is they had three mana sides. This one only has two. Oh, and this one isn't a mana side, and that's critical, because that is the one that is affected by the claw, and the claw is, is the most important thing in the world. So we're definitely doing this. <laughs> um, I don't really like that. Actually, plus five max HP is really good. That's really good. And this one gains you mana, which is nice. Um, I mean, actually, mana's become irrelevant now, because we're not getting it from a Evoker. Druid, even when they're two faces of mana, um, it's not enough to do anything useful. Two mana, I mean, you can always use it for shielding, you can always use it for damage, it's versatile. It's not a bum result, but it's not much. Yeah, I like that. Um, and let me check what stuff they had. They just had the three damage. Oh no, self heal, okay. That's fine. Oh, you know what? The Barbarian should have that. I mean, we're not casting spells very often, but the Barbarian needs regen, basically. And then they can have regen instead of the mana thing. That's all right. Yeah, I think I'd rather have add regen to a character than have two mana, because the two heals kind of irrelevant. You just so often you don't need it. I would actually. Isn't it better on the barbarian? Because that deathless thing is useless. I I moved it off because I don't have room, but actually this, the other thing is the shuriken, and the shuriken could go on anyone. That's the one that just does three damage. Yeah, yeah, that's better. Because this one, you know, it's not like healing is never useful. It just I often get it first turn, and then it's, it's frustrating because it does nothing. All right, we got some basilisks. What do basilisks do? After taking damage from a non-range side, turn that side to stone. So I would love to get some ranged attacks. Such as this one. Uh, Spiker. Oh my god, it does a lot of damage. <laughs> Is that seven? Yeah. Um, Alright, these are the worst sides, aren't they? Let's reroll all of those, I think. And I think since we got the bow, we'll focus on trying to kill a Basilisk this turn. So that would be. Get them down to there. They're going to have eight health left. It's doable. Oh, let's actually look at. Um, 
What's this debuff that's incoming? Minus one to all sides. That's coming from the... I can't tell. Is that... What is that? One damage and weaken. Okay. Now, what does this turn mean? <laughs> like, right now? Has it already happened? Minus one to all sides this turn. Incoming. Yeah, I, it's hard to really grasp that. So this one's just doing two damage to three different people, and that one's doing a lot of damage to one guy. We can't kill the spiker this turn, I'm pretty sure, even with all the cool stuff we do have. Um, I think we've got to... Oh, actually, it's it's scary, this one, isn't it? There's three blank sides, and this does six damage. I think it's good enough to keep. Um, I would take the pain one right now. Um, neither... I've got to remind myself again of all the weird mechanics in this guy. Uh, so, Bloodlust and Deathwish. Bloodlust is number of damaged enemies. That's only one. So it's still four damage. It's, it's pretty good. And is that what this is saying? No, this is Deathwish. So that's one of the worst ones we can get. Um, three shield is fine. And it mitigates against bad sides. I think I'll take that. Because the other option is Revenge, which does two damage. Uh, which is not great. The max HP thing might be worth keeping. Yeah, I think we should keep that. We can really save someone with that. And uh, we we'll roll barbarians. So what is that? <laughs> I know I just read it, but seriously, what is it? It's just four damage. Okay. So we can do four damage with this. Then we can do uh, four damage with that for eight. This guy has nine health currently. Um, so I think it makes more sense to go for this one. Oh, now it's doing five damage. Hey, hey. I like that. That's the six, so this will just kill him. Petrified for how long? Is that for the rest of the battle? Honestly, even if it is, I don't mind that much. Okay, is anyone in trouble? Yes, Evoker's in trouble. So let's give them five max HP, which is fucking great. And then also triple shield them. That's awesome. That's awesome. Oh my god! Do you think I just neutralized the Petrify? Because, okay, how does Petrify work? Because if it was just that it turns it to, to stone this turn, that's nonsense, because it turns the side that just attacked it. So the only thing it would affect is that Rampage Sword, because everything else can't be used again this turn anyway. So it must be for the rest of the battle, I think. And what I'm, look what I'm noticing is... Oh no, the debuff is still listed there. Oh my god, every side of everything is turned to that? Whoa! Okay, I was hoping that it sort of like forgot the debuff because I replaced the side. Um, Alright. Okay, so I think now I'm getting minus one to all sides. It said this turn, but I think it meant next turn. Yeah, I think now I've lost one to each side, and they have stayed petrified. So this is bad. We definitely want to fucking... Well, we definitely want to hit this with ranged attacks is the thing, but we don't really have a lot of those. What's the X there? Uh, oh, heal zero, I see. I, for some reason I read the tooltip as heal ten, and I was like, that's not how you show ten in this UI. Alright, this is bad. Um, so, range is still real good. Poison might be even better. Um, I don't have a lot of other range. I think this 6 damage is good enough that we should just do it. Um, poor Valkyrie's going to take a big hit, so we better try and get some shielding. That's 6 and pain. Uh, oh, this is only 2 defense now. Oof. Yeah, this, this person has the potential to help a lot, so... This... Yeah, that's, that's definitely the best thing she's got at the moment. 
Now that's a, a heal, it's not a max health thing, so that isn't really useful. Alright, let's kill this basilisk. Um, but I don't have a smart way of doing it. That leaves on 7, this does 6 damage, that's awkward. Maybe I don't even do that. This guy's going to hurt himself a huge amount, so actually this heal would be good on that person. Or, um, yeah, since this, we need those to kill that. Okay, so now only Valkyrie is taking damage. That's cool. Um, so I think Valkyrie should actually... Oh yeah! Valkyrie uses the shield now, and then both of these become shields. And that will protect from most of the damage, I think. Look at that! That shield is really neat. Man, what a good turn! I mean, we, we have a lot of petrification going on, which is not good. <laughs> Okay, what's that again? Deathwish. You know what? He probably does have Deathwish, doesn't he? Yeah, I think... Oh wait, sorry, no. Not, that's not what Deathwish means. Okay, <laughs> I'm never going to understand the mechanics. Uh, I will do that. It will petrify... Oh, that's actually nice. Oh no, it won't petrify, it'll just take damage. Um, shielding... Yeah, that's not bad. I'd rather have the max health, but... I suppose I'll re-roll it. Uh, so yeah, none of those are any good. That one I'm becoming a big fan of. Um, yeah, it's probably better than Revenge. That's fine, but I won't save it. And this one, Bloodlust, bonus damage. So, the Barbarian's got a debuff, has he? Didn't this used to do 3 damage? I thought this used to do 3 damage. Maybe it's always done 2 base damage, but it was showing the bonus just on the face of the dice. I thought at first it was showing the, the base damage and I was supposed to add the thing in my head, but maybe not. Um, well, it's not good, anyway. Alright, that's great. I, I, that Max L thing is awesome. Um, giving it to the Barbarian might be interesting because it sort of raises the buffer zone. Um, Evoker, I can actually save their bad roll with the Valkyrie. Um, Barbarian may want to just regen themselves, because it's going to come up a lot. Um, with two shields, we'll save all of that damage, so I don't necessarily need to give them max health. I think I'll give it to the Barbarian, just see what, what it's like to have this much health. Then pain kind of becomes irrelevant, doesn't it? Um, so now we shield... Oh no! Bad mistake. We've got to use the poison first. I thought shield first, because it would protect potentially from the self damage, but... I mean, it doesn't matter because I get to use the full capacity of the shields either way. Alright, that was good. We're sort of late dealing with this guy, but that's a good start to our focus on him. Uh, bow, it's sort of nice actually because no self damage. It's only two damage there. Poison would be better. I think I'll reroll. I mean, there's three different ways this, guy, this dice can be useless. And only one way it can be better. Maybe I stick with it. I think it's practical to stick with it. Don't want that though. And that's just a heal. Um, Barbarian could use it, but I don't need it. Um, I might take that. I'd rather have the max health. Yeah, there's only one bad side, so I think I'll, I'll have reroll that actually. Death wish. I mean, they're never going to die this turn. That's never going to happen, is it? They have too much health. <laughs> they're basically invincible. So I can reroll everything. All right, more regen. The big bastard sword. Love that. All right, so in total, that's 8, 10, 13 damage. I think we kill him this turn. Um, I might let Barbarian... Valkyrie can save themselves, um, and Barbarian can do that. Uh, no reason not to do this first. I'm gonna... <laughs> this doesn't make any sense, but I'm saving this to last, so that if it did kill him outright, I would get to use it again, which makes no sense because there's no one else to kill, but it would just be kind of satisfying. And it just dies. Alright. This build has come together. We are getting somewhere now. And I'll admit it, I was more skeptical of pain than I needed to be. It's actually... When you've got that much health, it doesn't matter that much. 
Plus one to all sides is fucking incredible. Yes, please. Plus two to all single use sides. Well, that's rubbish by comparison. That's, uh, there's only one of those, which is the, the poison, which, yes, it would be nice, but if I do plus one to all sides on this guy, I mean, that's, that's what I do, for sure, because that is four poison on this one, three poison on that one. These become three, which is six on an undamaged enemy, which is probably going to kill them if they're a flyer, um, if they're on the back row. Yeah, I don't need to see the <laughs> other possibilities. The only thing to check is, is there someone else who would benefit even more? Because it's not plus one to like normal damage or anything, it's plus one to just everything. I can't put it on the Boker because I need both of those things. Right. Yeah. Yeah, they're, both are super important. Um, putting on that person, it's pretty cool. I mean, that's just fantastic for everyone, isn't it? Um, yeah, I wouldn't put on this guy because the pain thing kind of gets worse. I mean, it adds to regen, which is pretty cool. It would be good on Valkyrie. Three revenge and four shielding. But I think we have to admit this is the best, isn't it? Because that poison is just such a good you know, scaling thing. And then even when this is used up, I can be doing three poison every time they that comes up. That's really fucking good. Uh, is this so? This isn't the final boss. This is the last fight before the final boss. And then we're done. I think we're going to win. Not to get cocky, but I think this build was already performing well, and it's just got a whole lot better. So these are both six damage. Um, plenty of things can be killed to six. What is this four? Dies if it takes four more damage in a single attack. Okay, well we can do that. Believe me, <laughs> that is our fucking specialty. <laughs> four damage in a single attack is a, is a bad day for us. Um, I'd love to stop this, wherever that's coming from. Two different zombies. But only this one is doing the, the poison, so we'll be able to kill him. Just wondering about if getting mana made any sense. Six damage, yes please. Um, healing, absolutely not. Shielding, yeah, Barbarian does need to have some kind of shielding. <laughs> Uh, I'd rather have Revenge, because Revenge... No, nah, maybe not. Revenge... Oh my god, Revenge on Barbarian would be fantastic. We'd do 8 damage in total to all these fuckers. But we're going to kill the zombies. Um, yeah. So we don't strictly need that. I'm a bit torn, actually. So one advantage of this is that it does save the Barbarian, so Valkyrie gets max health for it. Revenge would be better yeah what are the other alternatives I could end up with a healing side which would be shit or the death side yeah there's two different ways that can go wrong but let's stick to it just reroll the shaman three damage not bad all right so my two priorities I think probably my three priorities are to save the barbarian and um, uh, ah shit ah shit I can't get the credit for it because if I do it now it saves him when I get the credit but everyone else's dice become shields. If I wait it won't be saving him because at least one other person is going to kill someone who's, got, who's taken a barbarian and that will count as the save. Alright, um, so I've got three different ways of doing six damage <laughs> which is incredible. Um, the three damage doesn't help us at all does it? It's just going to be a, a mild thing. So top priority poison guy. <laughs> Um, uh, the top priority is the spider. Yeah, there's no way to increase that damage there. Um, Barbarian's still looking hairy. That's all the poison dealt with, but Lorian really needs to... So, six damage each. Sorry, three damage each from these guys. But six damage from this guy, so that's the one we kill. He's going to save himself. He's still going to die. Oh, because he takes six damage from his own fucking sword. <laughs> Moron. <laughs> Alright, well, we, we can save him. Actually, it's good news, because we get the credit for it now. Barbarian's going to be a one health. <laughs> uh, sorry, that was too soon, wasn't it? I mean, actually, is it too soon? The three damage, as I say, doesn't really help us. It's not that great. So I think we do want the shield twice. Um, our evoker is low. We need to pay attention to that. But, I mean, there's... We might win this turn. Because... 
that kills a zombie. That uh, I I can't take that really, can I? <laughs> he's on, he's already going to die, and, and and because he's going to die, a death wish side would be extra helpful. I don't like any of those. Oh my god! Stop giving me the pain, please! I can't. <laughs> that that's the exact same fucking dice I just had. No, thank you. All right, tell me that's the death wish one. It's bloodlust. Ugh, crap. All right. Ah, but look at this motherfucker. I don't care who's killing who, because I got the Rampage Sword, which just kills all of you. <laughs> okay, whatever class you're going to offer me, if it's going to change the Evoker, you can fuck off. Because the... Oh my god. Oh my god. No. <laughs> Why did I say that out loud? Okay, okay, maybe that... Oh no, this is so bad. Okay, the, these are mana sides. We think... Oh, but the left one... Is that a mana side? I mean, it, it doesn't matter, does it? Because it doesn't have a value attached to it, so it's not going to convert into damage. Is that a mana side? No, it isn't. Oh my god, I can't believe you're doing this to me. I take it all back. This level-up system fucking sucks. <laughs> I can't. Oh, you... Oh. It was the best thing I had. Okay, okay, no. Let's let's snap out of it. <laughs> let's get practical about this because we're about to enter the last fight of the game, and we can already see what it what it brings with it, which is a fucking big boss, a fairly chunky guy, and a single imp. So the rampage mechanic no longer counts that much. It doesn't really matter. Um, so the more positive way to look at it is that these two, I'm pretty sure these two will become nine damage attacks, single use nine damage attacks, but still nine damage attacks. The shields, I don't think they would get replaced. It's tough, though. The really strict version of the rule would be only if it's literally just the plainest mana side possible, which would be ones that don't have single use. That would be so harsh, because single use is a debuff. It's not It's not an advantage. I'm not getting any extra credit for that. Um, oh, that's great. I, I like that spell a lot. I've had that before. Uh, let me look at what this is. Uh oh Huh. To my eyes, that is also a mana side. Like, its name is just a number and then mana. It has an attribute below that, but that it's called a mana side. A cantrip reroll is very nice. Um, target can use their dice again is cool. And what's that? A four mana, you do one damage and weaken. Uh, nah, that's not very good. All right, so this one is the best chance of, of still synergizing with my uh, cool items. And the spell it comes with is really good. Double your current mana just does nothing for me. But yeah, I've got to take this. Oh, I'm pretty sad about that. I'm pretty sad about that. But let's see the moment of truth. Oh my god! They all turn! Okay, this has worked out just fine. Um... Alright, so I've got two 9 damage and two 6 damage. That's fucking fine. I'll live with that, actually. Uh, the Rampage thing doesn't help at all now. Um, so it would make more sense to put that on... Who? No one's got free slots. Uh, Barbarian's region thing I could happily lose. So it could go on Pain, but Pain, it hurts me so much that it's not that useful. Uh, how many times can I take five damage? Not, not more than twice. Oh, this item was so good. Well, I just don't have the characters for it. It just doesn't fit what we have. If it, all else being equal, like I could put it on on this character if I had space, just to get. Uh, no, no, it wouldn't make sense. It's be three damage at that point. I think I just bench it. I just sad. It's very sad. God, if I could put it on one of those, I'd be so happy. You know what I'd love is like an item that just moves faces around, like every face moves one place clockwise or something weird like that. Obviously there isn't really a logical order to do that in, but um, it would be so nice to be able to combine that kind of thing. Like, okay, this, this affects the left-hand side. The thing I want to affect isn't on the left, but there's a way to move it to the left. All right, we just live with it. Now, hey, what? <laughs> Why did you take three damage? Oh, cause, maybe because it did three damage to this guy. 
Oh my god, what the hell? That's no good. How do we... Fuck. We need healing, man. We're gonna need a lot of healing this to fight. Also, Valkyrie's about to die. <laughs> Valkyrie could, could death save herself. Um, that would be the most efficient way to do this. But will it come up? I don't know. Fucking hell. Okay, well. Nine damage. Nothing to sniff at. Let's do that. Uh, can't really use that on Hexia, can we? Jesus Christ. Deathless suddenly has become a real good thing. Equal to the number of damaged enemies. So no, I want to reroll that and try and get Deathless. I mean, is Revenge going to trigger it? Oh, that could be really bad. Oh, I think we're going to lose. I think that mechanic alone is just so rough. Did I? I didn't knowingly choose that, did I? No, I definitely don't want that. Um, do I want the shield? No, I still want to try and get Deathless. Got the shield again. Alright, bow is good, because that'll... So that applies even to ranged attacks, which is not not fun. Pain sword. <laughs> Pain sword would do six damage to myself, and then if I attack this person, another six damage to myself. That just kills me. <laughs> I'm still going to take it, because I think we can take out the spawn with it. Um, they're not doing anything scary right now. But six damage and add pain to all sides next turn. Yeah, that, that's the kind of thing I'd like to stop. Um, and then reroll these. That's revenge. Let me, since I can undo it, let's try it. Let's see if revenge does hurt. Yes, it did. So it, it defended for two, hurt them for two, two pain came back, broke the two shield. So that's not good. You know, Crush would be interesting, but I don't have any mana, do I? I've got a side that doubles my mana, but no way to actually generate mana. <laughs> oh, Shaman can give me a little bit. Alright, this is going to be rough. I, I don't see how we can save Valkyrie. Is it? I mean, it's probably this fucking guy, isn't it? <laughs> how much is that? 12 damage. I mean, she is taking 2 extra from this guy. But even with the shield and that, we can't save her. We can't save her. If she saved someone else, she would get one extra hit point, but that's not really neither here nor there, is it? Shit. That's a rough first turn. Uh, so this thing does six, this thing does six, this thing does nine. This guy has four. What's he doing? Just doing four damage to the Weaver. Not urgent to stop that. <coughs> Two damage to all. That's just ten damage in total, so it's, it's a big deal to stop this guy. So I've got six, six, nine. Um, this one is twelve. Okay, so two sixes takes out the spawn perfectly. Um, but then what are you doing with a nine? Uh, I think either way we just take out, we use three attacks and we take out these three guys. There's no world where we attack Hexia. But if it was anything other than pain, Barbarian could do this. So Shaman shouldn't protect Valkyrie. After we deal with this guy, there's going to be four overkill. Even if it was only three overkill, we can't save her. We have no mana to do anything with that. God damn. Horrifying. Uh, did it say it was... This guy's spiky. Okay, that makes decision making easier because that means we definitely want to arrow them. But Barbarian's just going to do six damage to himself. And then we do an extra nine. Yeah, so it has shaken out as I predicted. I should do this anyway because... Uh, oh, let's do this because that's two damage on on Hexia. Um, and then we do it, but we can't save her. We can't save her. Probably before selecting dice, I should have made sure I had a plan to save my own person. It's been so rare for someone to actually like be unable to, to save themselves. Okay, big heal. I like that. 
I'd rather have the max health, but on the Barbarian it's going to be real good. Don't like all these blank sides. I've got a... Oh my god. I've got a lot of blank sides. That's six damage. She can take six damage at the moment. What's that? Just tell me what it is. Bloodlust. Ugh, bloodlust is bad. Poison's great, though. So... Poison Hexia hurts Assassin a lot, but that's going to really pay for itself. That's actually fantastic, because I think when it ticks down, hopefully that doesn't hurt Assassin each time. Um, Sharwan actually almost should save themselves. Oh, no, wait. Here's what we do. Uh, Barbarian attacks first. Then Shaman saves them. Yeah, that's a big heal. All right. All right, maybe this can be done because we've really smashed through that health bar now. Definitely clearing out the other enemies first was essential because we this guy seems to only attack one person at a time. And... Um, oh, we've got it, haven't we? Even if everyone kills themselves doing this, <laughs> we've still got it. Um, should I... There's, there's no better side really is there. It would be three damage at most anyway. I would love for as many people to survive as possible. I got... Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I see that four sides turned to stone. When did that happen? Alright, I think... Weaver in a blaze of glory. Alright, that was it. What sacrifice? Lose a hero by using an item ability. Yep, I can do that. <laughs> Uh, Thimble, remove pain from all sides. Oh, now we're talking. That'll be perfect for the Barbarian. My god. I think there's a, another item that adds pain to all sides, or to several sides, and, and improves their damage. Damn, that was really fun. Only two deaths in the whole campaign. That's much less than I had last time. Uh, but for a lot of that, it felt hard for my last campaign. The, the build really didn't come together till the last half, like this session. It really felt a lot better than it was. And I don't think I coughed once, so that's pretty good going. 